Okay, air signs. I had to start y'all reading over. Y'all already know I got some heathens for some freaking neighbors. So they always got to be loud. They loud from the time the sun rises to the time to go down and even beyond that. Okay, so if you guys hear background noise, just know that they favorite thing to do is be as loud as they possibly can be. And they have offspring that like the same thing. Okay, so. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the tribe and you're feeling my vibe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button plus the post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Okay, guys, so let's hop right in without further ado. Let's get the overall energy for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes of August 6th through 8th, 2021. And this is for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Let's get the overall energy. Okay, so we got the finding here. Now, guys, it almost came out in reverse. So hopefully y'all are regaining a sense of footing after a period of feeling like you lost yourself. Or after a period of feeling like, you know, I don't know which way to go next, okay? So with this finding, I see a lot of energy. It's all about confidence, self-love, transformation, embracing your naturalness. You know, no matter what your flaws may be, just loving yourself completely, 100% and unconditionally. So that finding is the finding within. All right. So you guys can be coming from a place. You guys can be coming from a time and a phase where you're transitioning out of feeling like you might have, like I said, lost a piece of yourself in a in a cycle that y'all was in. All right. Again, we getting that lack of closure. I don't know what it is about that, but there's a lack of closure as it pertains to a certain situation. But you finding the answers within yourself in order to move forward. And self-love and confidence, all right? So let's get the um, specific energy for Aquarius. Let's expand on finding for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes for the weekend of August 6th through 8th. Yes, okay. So Aquarius, as usual, we are the humanitarians of the Zodiac, and we are having a lot of compassion for the universe. Look, a lot of us are going natural with our hair, all right? That's what I'm seeing consistently here. Y'all already know I've been on a natural journey for about the past two years now. Hair growing long and strong. So if y'all want to join this journey, please go ahead. If y'all need tips and y'all got the same type here, hit my line, okay? But at the end of the day, it's like this weekend, Aquarius, you could be finding the time, finding the love within yourself. And maybe this is even putting you in a higher vibration to be able to go out and give back to others. So some of you guys can be... um. Like really volunteering, giving back, or just showing the world compassion. Aquarius, a lot of you guys have healing words because I'm seeing light come from her mouth, even though her mouth is closed. And I'm seeing light come from her hands. So a lot of you guys... um have healing words or you can even have a healing voice as well as healing hands and i've been feeling mine's activating lately so maybe i got a maybe i got so much built built up energy that it's time for me to share my healing abilities with somebody else okay so i don't know spirit can be sending another wounded warrior my way i don't know <laughs> let's see all right what else is coming in for aquarius What else is coming in for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node? Confidence. That's what I'm saying. You know, reconciliation. All right. So you guys are releasing something with compassion. All right. You got the confidence to move forward. And you definitely love yourself. Okay. You love yourself. Therefore, you reflect that love unto, uh, to others despite whatever the circumstances are. And I feel like that's something that you're coming into. Okay. There is a lack of reconciliation happening for a family member, a friend, or even a romantic love that you were supposed to have. But you have the confidence and the self-love to move forward in compassion and and trust in your own well-being because you know that it's been some lies here or a lack of truth here and this is even as it pertains to family okay i'm seeing family and passion here so this can be in both sectors of your life your romantic life where you could have um experienced 
quite a bit of betrayal or disappointment in your love life, but also there could be family members that you need to heal things with. And maybe you're offering forgiveness, compassion, and you're releasing that because you feel more confident to move forward in your transformation without people that aren't as concerned for your own well-being. And it is for your well-being. With well-being being here, that for me is letting me know that you guys are more concerned with your own well-being than you are with pleasing other people right now. You know, because like I said, we can be humanitarian like and a lot of times we care more about the emotions, the feelings and the state of other human beings more than ourselves at times. But again, in addition to this, like releasing something with compassion, I do feel um, you definitely put your confidence on display somehow this weekend as well as your giving kind nature. Y'all, what I say, your confidence is being put on display. All right, so I'm going to put that for confidence. And guys, you've been through a lot. You've maintained your confidence through going through a lot. Even, okay, so this, this, these two coming out together. Wow, look at that self-love. Finding self-love. There we go. We putting that there. Okay, so here's, here's that. Thank God I don't look like what I've been through. Even though they made the um, Queen Wise look rough as hell on this. The confidence is, it's like you wear your past cycles no matter how difficult like a badge of honor but people can't even tell that you've been through that much because you ain't looking stressed you looking hella blessed okay and people can't even tell you barely got a great hair boo okay so at the end of the day you're no longer waiting for something you seeing it as a failure because you love yourself you love yourself with this ace of cups aquarius you guys have a lot of love to give the love that you have for yourself, like I said, is being reflected outwardly to the universe. And because of that, you guys could be manifesting that in. Maybe you're attracting somebody that has the equal amount of compassion as you. That wants to help humanity as much as you. Why is compassion here? Yes, you guys are definitely um, advocates for something. Humanitarian. Speaking up against certain topics here. Giving back. Motivating others. So what you could be giving back as the princess of swords here is your truth. And you could be coming from a place of compassion to actually help empower others that may have been in, this, in a similar situation. So with this reconciliation, you may know that your ancestors are blocking this individual out because they could be causing a lot of conflict. Don't y'all hate when men want to fight with women or compete with women. You know what I'm saying? This person was definitely causing a lot of conflict because they are very, I want to say, low vibrational and demonic. I hate to say it, but whoever this person is, they can be controlling. They could like to inflict a lot of fear, but it's like they met their match because some way, somehow you outsmarted this individual. They didn't think that you were going to be on to them, whether this is your husband, a friend of yours, a boyfriend, an ex-fiance, an ex period but it's like you don't even want to be friends this person doesn't want to make any type of change to change their life they've been in and out and now i feel like your ancestors are blocking them from your life because you have a lot of passion a lot of people are drawn to you not just on a romantic level but people are just drawn to your helpful energy your knowledge your ability to manifest your ability to be confident within yourself your intellect, your intuition, how studious you are. You have this eager energy to learn. And I feel like what you have to say, people like listen attentfully, intentfully. Because this can be you, you know, like I said, making your truths be known to help other individuals get through the same things that maybe you've been through. I swear they wasn't this loud before I press play. It's like if they can hear me say anything out the window, like as long as they know I'm woke, they'll turn up, okay? Because they wasn't even this loud before I started recording. Okay, so why is... They wasn't loud at all. It's only when I press play that all of a sudden people start screaming to the top of their lungs. Why is the Princess of Swords here? So you guys are definitely, some of you guys are moving and gaining stability off of what it is that you do for work is what I'm saying. Why is Fortitude here? I wonder if I put my headphones in if that would cancel it out some. Why is the Nine of Wands here with the Queen of Wands? So 
So yeah, this is definitely a lover situation where you had to basically give up on this connection and you had the confidence to walk away. This person probably didn't think that you were. They were in and out just only wanting sex based when this was a way deeper soul connection than this. They did they just didn't take action. You know, and I feel like it turned you off in a way. Why is the Knight of Wands as well as the Eight of Wands in reverse here? Y'all, you letting go of a, a male and this person was important to you. Whenever the main male shows up, that's somebody that's highly important to you, but their energy is in reverse. So at this time, like, I don't know if this person is thinking heavily about you because the, pe the fact that this person is coming in reverse is letting me know that you don't think about them that much. You may feel like you matured out of this connection. It could have even been this person's mother that like convinced them to not bring forth all of their energy to this connection. But it's looking like you guys are meeting a wealthy masculine energy. All right. Your confidence is drawn in somebody that wants to invest in you, that wants things to grow with you. You know, they want to grow with you because they see you as the star. All right. So you might have had a vision about marrying this other person that you were supposed to have a path with, but it's not end up. It's not ending up coming to fruition. So you setting that person free. It's been a lot of rumors and lies surrounding this situation, too. But you freeing yourself. You know, you're not keeping yourself stuck and bound to somebody that's not coming in your direction. All right? And you are being blessed with a new soulmate. All right, guys? So, yeah, it's looking like the energies. <laughs> a lot of people are releasing. So, this can be the shift at this point. Maybe you guys even asked to release this two weeks ago. And you're noticing more and more now that, you know, you you no longer thinking about... Like, your mindset and your heart is not relying on the outcome with somebody. You're releasing that, okay? And for some of you, this could have already happened. This could have already happened. This could be old, but it could be, It could just be that um, this weekend you're actually going out and you can be creating a community where you help other people that's going through the same thing, Okay? All right, so I didn't mean to pick up finding because let's go to Libra next. Let's expand on finding for Libra. Let's expand on finding for Libra. transformation wow so y'all money is transforming all right so for you libra maybe it was you had to be more confident in your finances and your ability to manifest you guys could be transforming your mindset which is helping you to bloom raise your vibration and bring in this generational wealth that you are meant to bring in um, for some of you, you definitely could be breaking some type of generational curse because it's a promise over your life. But of course, you had to take action and you had to find that strength, find that strength from within to actually transform your mindset from a conscious lack one to one of abundance. And because of that, you guys could be you guys could be getting a new job this weekend that pays a lot of money. Um, you could have even attracted money out of nowhere, like won the lottery, um, went to the casino and won a lot of money or just got some type of huge donation. All right. This could even be like that you were already working and you got a massive promotion. All right. Something that you didn't even think you can get. Some of you guys are in school getting ready to graduate. And when you graduate, your finances are going to be on tilt. Okay, so let's get one more for Libra. Y'all, it's the passion within you. You had to find, yeah, it was something about truth. It's like you didn't trust the universe before. 
and you realize that your inner being, your inner self was reflecting on the outside. So because you you had this cloudy vision of the universe and what was meant for you and you wasn't trusting in the truth, that the truth lies within you, that you could have been like manifesting your own lack. But now it's like you had the passion to kind of step up. And take this leap of faith to do the work necessary. So it wasn't just about the mindset. And this is something that you're passionate about. This is not something that you're just doing for work. Okay, once again, you guys have a lack of closure. Okay, have a good day. So once again, you guys could be lacking closure about something. Is what I'm saying. But whatever the case is, you guys are finding the strength within to move forward. And you are... Um, you're creating healthy boundaries for yourself. So it could definitely be past situations. Um, you guys could be needing to find closure from the past because maybe you've been through a lot of traumatic things in the past. Maybe you lost a lot. You was lacking a lot. Maybe every time you gained things, people took from you. Um, people took advantage of you. And you could be even finding that closure. All right. So what's at the bottom closure? Y'all empowerment. It's all within you. You realizing that. Why is transformation here? You realize something here wasn't moving forward. Gosh, everybody's in the Queen of Wands energy. Y'all manifesting, manifesting, and manifesting. It is a, a new moon, though. Yeah, you guys are manifesting letting go. All right, so that could have been one thing, Libra. You could have been holding on to your money way too tight. And that could have been creating lack for you because it was like you wasn't trusting that you could really truly heal your finances and live out your dream. But it's like, again, you shifted your consciousness and you implemented passion. You implemented that action. You took a step forward. So this is like not just, no longer just sitting around daydreaming, hoping and wishing, but putting in that work. Okay, why is passion here? Y'all, you taking the first step. Some of y'all in school, like I said, and y'all getting ready. Y'all going to school for something that y'all really love to do. All right. At the bottom of the deck, y'all not focused on love right now. Love is where y'all don't have the closure at. And it could have been that maybe it was a specific relationship or many relationships that wasn't working out. But Spirit wanted you to get to this place and kind of master this energy first before they brought love into your life. Because maybe love would have been a distraction at a time where you were really trying to gain some momentum in other areas of your life. Why is the chariot in reverse? You don't feel stagnant, investing your time and stuff that's not moving forward. You listening more to the messages from the most high. Okay. You realize that you're the one that got the key to your success. The, 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 the key or basically the ingredients to overcoming whatever lack you were going through is within you. Okay. Why is the four of pentacles in reverse? Yeah. Because you let go of one thing, spirit is gifting you with something else. Prosperity. A new cycle. All right? Judgment has been caught. Things have been brought to light. Um, you have been able to recognize those that weren't in your highest good. Those that were trying to sabotage you. Sabotage your heart, for one. Because you could have been around people that know how loving and high vibrational you are. And they could have... Uh, try to break that very essence of you is what I'm seeing and you freeing yourself from those individuals this weekend so again new job um some of you guys may be experiencing some car issues uh again you could be getting job placement after graduation or just looking into that but even if you are still in school I do feel like you're getting a job where you know your money is gonna be straight because I feel like you guys could be working and schooling at the same time and you guys are putting the the, for, the forward motion necessary in order to be the generational curse breaker. Because this is my generational curse breaker um, card. Okay, so I keep on doing it. I forget that this is the overall energy. 
All right, so let's get Gemini. Let's get the overall energy. I'm oh, not the overall energy, but what's coming in for Gemini this weekend? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes. What's coming in for the weekend for Gemini? Good luck. You guys are finding good luck. It's just what you guys are putting out. You guys are putting out good vibes. <laughs> and being blessed because of it. Okay? Dreams. Your dreams are coming to fruition, Gemini. Okay? Some of the some dream premonitions that you um had over these past couple of weeks is going to be coming to fruition this week. You know, um you you guys could be reaching a quota as it pertains to your finances and you're just feeling very proud of yourself. Yep, it's the confidence. I'm hearing it's the God in me. You know, Okay, Gemini, so it's like you've been putting that godly Christ conscious energy out here. Some of you guys are getting new pets this weekend. All right, so I'm getting either birds or dogs is what you guys could be getting a dog. For some of you, y'all prefer to get birds simply because it's something that you can kind of... Birds are maintenance too, guys. It is. Even though all y'all got to do is add seeds, water, and like change out their little paper and stuff like that. But shoot, you got to be spending time with them too. But yeah, you guys can be add more life to your home. Buying plants. Oh, somebody getting a cat too. Somebody getting a black cat. Somebody could be getting a, um, a husky. One of them blue-eyed dogs that look like they uh, belong in the Antarctic. All right. So yeah, and you feel lucky. Yeah, I get black cats twice. So you guys could be getting a black cat. Black cats represent protection. Don't think that, like, people always making it seem like everything black is bad. Look. So, this today could be like one big deja vu for you because I feel like you kind of dreamt out your day. You dreamt, you know, going to the pet store, going to pick out a new animal, you know, um, again, just coming into this luck and fortune. Bryce, good luck here. Okay, Gemini, I'm getting retail therapy for you guys this week. Good decisions have led to good luck is what I'm seeing. All right, and you're finding your dream person this weekend. Y'all could be spending time with y'all twin flame this week. All right, with the Prince of Wands here. I'm getting that you guys could be having an interview, but I don't feel like it's an interview, like an interview for a job, which you guys could be getting a job, a new job this week too. But at the same time, I feel like this is like an interview, interview, like somebody want to know more about your life. So they asking questions and they could be recording it, asking to put it on a platform here. You could be on somebody's podcast or, you know, even if somebody got a channel or a page, you know, they could be wanting to, um, Interview you, even if somebody is an author, because for some of you, this person can be taking like footnotes to be putting in like a, a, a documentary clips of, of individuals lives. And maybe they doing like multiple people that have the same field as you or to have the same look as you or same lifestyle as you. And they would have put it in some type of memoir or something like that. But I'm getting that you guys feeling lucky about that. You loving to tell your story, you know. Y'all and y'all empress energy, most definitely. Okay, so y'all splurging on y'all self. I'm not even going to lie. Y'all healing from a heartbreak, um, finding new love, and and I feel like, again, you're getting some type of recognition. Because even if you do something for yourself or you have your own platform, by you being interviewed by somebody else's platform who could be bigger or whatever, it is going to bring you some publicity, which is going to make you feel very lucky, which is going to help people to be directed towards you or your business. All right? 
So whoever this is, it's like you're doing a favor for them. But by them advertising you, they're doing you a favor as well. Oh, was I supposed to be clarifying this? This video almost done, y'all. I'm using headphones on the next one. Why is lovers here? Concern did fly out, but I wasn't concentrating on anything. And then something just flew on the floor. Shoot. You could be concerned of, of how fast something moves. Alright? Because I see the whip as like a uh, swift energy. And so with this lover's energy, you could be feeling like you're lucky to have met this person. They can be on the same level as you creatively is what I'm getting. So you guys can do the same thing creatively. Um, Even this person that's interviewing you, they could be a love interest or a potential one. Why is the Prince of Wands here? But you can be concerned with how quickly this new lover's connection is moving. Maybe you meeting somebody and you feel like, damn, I'm so lucky. But it's like if you're going on a first date, they could be trying to have sex on the first date. You know? I do feel like this interview is going to be very time-consuming. But again, it's going to pay off in different ways. So try to be in the energy of gratitude even if even if this person is asking you to do a free interview for them. Understand that it's going to pay off in some other kind of way. And it's because you put that energy out, Okay. Yeah, yeah, your attention, like pe many people's attention is being drawn towards you. Um, if you do have a business, you can be getting new clients, new people are finding you. And I feel like it's because of this interview here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I just feel like y'all splurging on y'all self. Yeah. It's like if you reach some type of milestone this weekend, I see you really like spending some money with your, on yourself. And honestly, you could have did other things with the with whatever money you are spending, but I feel like it was time. It was time to kind of spruce up your life, get some retail therapy. It also could have been for some type of event, or it even could have been for this interview here, especially if it had to be recorded. But at the end of the day, I do feel like, like I said, it's a little light splurge. And you guys are, you know, oh, it could be for that new date too. You know, but you guys definitely deserve it because I feel like you guys been working hard and maybe you have been putting yourself on the back burner a little bit and you just, like I said, you need that retail therapy and it's being encouraged. Okay. So let's see what the overall outcome is for Aquarius for the weekend vibes. I didn't even connect. What's coming in for Aquarius for the weekend vibes? Yeah. Protection. All right. So, again, I did see that you guys were kind of protected from a connection, and that's why it's not coming back together. But you're getting blessed with a new opportunity that you didn't see coming here. Yeah, some of you guys can um, have Shango as a, a spiritual parent because I am seeing, like, this lightning here as it pertains to, like, or, like, somebody could have been trying to send a lot of electric energy towards you. But it's like you got ancestors protecting you, you know, providing you with the shade. Like you don't even know what's going on through them thick branches. So things was at a standstill in your life and I feel like momentum is picking up and you're going to start to thrive even more. But again, y'all got to get out of solitude. It's time to go back out into humanity. But I see you guys are attracting success though. And healing a lot of chaos in y'all's life. Or just the fact that your ancestors are blocking a connection. And not allowing a reconciliation is going to heal a lot of the chaos that was happening in your life. Okay, so let's get the outcome for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Y'all going with the flow. I'm getting a lot of intuition, energy, feminine energy. A lot of you guys can have water in y'all chart. Y'all going on this voyage. I do feel like it's education for a lot of you. You guys could be following in y'all mom's footsteps as it pertains to what you're going to school for or your career field. And you're facing your truth. Something in your life is abandoned. I don't know what it is. Maybe your truth, your story. 
what it like your true self like maybe you was burying your true self and whatever it is that everybody else wanted you to be and now it's like you speaking on that you bringing back life to what was dead buried suppressed oppressed okay standstill is also at a reverse so yeah air signs if y'all been like having a pause in time a pause in a moment of time i do feel like you guys are ready to pick back up the momentum okay uh gemini you guys are releasing and because you're releasing you coming into about a good look when it comes to love yeah, you guys are being set free. Wow, I said love and this came out right as I said it. So love is blooming and it is blooming quickly. And I do feel like you guys can be concerned because there is somebody that you're having to release and then love is coming in. But you are free to do this. Whoever has some type of power over you before Gemini, that power has been revoked. They no longer have power in your life. You took your power back. You realized that this person wasn't making you happy and they wasn't loyal. And now whatever you're going towards is a lot of pleasure. And it was the lover. So it can definitely be physically pleasing. Okay. All right, guys. Hopefully y'all like the weekend vibes. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.